Today we're going to be seeing if a function satisfies a given differential equation. Oftentimes it'll come in the form of a question like this that's written up here in black. Um, otherwise you can use this technique to check your answers if you've already solved a differential equation um, and you can do this to see if you got the right answer. So the three steps we're going to go through um, in every process is first you're going to differentiate the y equation um, that's given uh, to get a y prime equation. Second, you're going to plug that y equation as well as the y prime equation that you got by differentiating into the given y prime equation. And third, you're just going to simplify. Um, and if the sides are equivalent, then you know that the, that the function satisfies the differential equation. And if they're not, then it doesn't satisfy. So we'll move on to some examples. So here we have our first example. Um, we're going to see if this y function satisfies uh, the given differential equation, which will be this. Again, this could be like an answer you got um, from solving a differential equation, and this could be us checking to see and make sure that it satisfies this differential equation. So step one will just be differentiating this. So y prime equals, and now you can see this is two functions. One is t prime and one is a natural log of t, so we're gonna to have to use product rule. So first, we're um, differentiating the first term, so that'll just be 2t um, times the normal second term, which is just the natural log of t. Now we're gonna add on just the first term, t squared um, times the derivative of the second term, which is just one over t. And so that's just simple um, product rule. So now we have a y prime equation and we have a y equation. So we're gonna plug these two equations um, into this equation over here. So these are gonna go um, so that we can plug that, or so we're gonna plug these two into that equation. And that is our step two. Okay, so we see that y prime, so we solve for y prime right here. Um, so we're gonna put that in here, 2t, oops, 2t natural log of t plus t squared times 1 over t. So we see that um, the given differential equation says that y prime equals um, this over here. So we're going to plug that in and we'll put this y um, in for the y on the right side of this. So we go t 2 times y, which we know that y is this, so that's t squared times the natural log of t. That'll all be over t and plus t. Okay, so now, uh, now that it's all plugged in, all we have to do is simplify the equation to see if both sides are equivalent. So that's our third step, all right? So we can simplify here. Um, by making this dividing by t, so we can get 2t natural log of t plus t, and that should equal, um, now let's see, uh, this is all multiplied together, so we can simply divide by this t and get rid of the t squared, so we're just left with a t, so it's 2t natural log of t plus t. And if you look, both sides um, are identical. So yes, um, it does, this given y, y function satisfies the differential equation. On to example number two, we've got a new function and a new differential equation. Um, so obviously write dy dx is the same as y prime um, with respect to x. So same same deal with this one. Um, so same process here, right? We start with step one. So we take the derivative of the y equation, which is simply y prime equals um, four over eight x to the third, which is simply one half x to the third. All right, so now step two, we just plug 
this y prime equation and this y equals equation into the differential equation. All right, so we do 1 half x cubed, because that's our y prime, which is essentially the same as dy dx, right? So we're just plugging this into here, equals, um, and x, and then y, which we have y up here, so that's 1 eighth x to the fourth, all to the 1 half, because this is our y term. All right, so uh, step three, we're just going to simplify and see if the two sides are truly equivalent. So the left side doesn't really simplify much. We're just going to have 1 half x cubed. Um, now x will stay here. Now uh, we can distribute the 1 half power, which is the same as square rooting the top and bottom uh, of, of this um, of this fraction. So we can see here it's the same as square root of 1, which is just 1 over the square root of 8. And again, we distribute the 1 half to the x to the fourth, so that just gives us x squared. All right, so we simplify one more time down. We get 1 half x cubed equals 1 over the square root of 8 x cubed. So we could divide, it's pretty obvious by now, right? But we could divide both sides by x cubed and get 1 half equals 1 over the square root of 8, um, which is obviously not true, right? So therefore, we can conclude that no, the function does not satisfy um, the given differential equation.